What's up everybody? It's Brian Aragon here and today I'm going to talk to you about how to do a Royale and then how to do a Royale on a rail. So the Royale is basically, it's one of the, the more basic tricks in skating but it's also one of the most necessary tricks to have. Uh, it basically is utilizing the space in between your four wheels. So the Royale trick fits on both skates right in the middle. And what it consists of is actually using your boot. So when you use your boot, what I mean by this is using the side of your skate and the middle of your frames to actually get on the trick. So when you get on this trick, you're gonna be on your boot and on your frames. And as you can see me right now, how I'm positioning my body, this is the basic Royale position, which is having your legs spread, your body, your body almost, almost like it, you're in a C position right now. And when you do this, you want to have most of your, you want to have all of your weight directly over your skates because that, that's where your balance stays. If you have your skates too far in front of you and your weight's over here, you're just going to slip out. And the same with this way. If you do it this way, your feet are going to come off and just you'll be grinding in the middle and that's not the trick. So basically, whenever you Royale, before you jump on anything, you basically want to know how to set your body and how to position yourself. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is bend your knees enough to where your boot can touch. And people, a lot of times, they, they think that they have to bend their knees or their ankles so much to, to get to this point, but in reality, it's more of your knees. So you're just gonna to wanna to bend your knees and kind of let your legs fall over to the side. And when you let them fall over to the side enough on flat ground, you'll feel your boot touch. And it almost gives you some more stability and that's what you should be feeling. So when you feel that more stability, you wanna center your body, the weight of your body, the weight of your torso right over your skates. So you're in the C position, like I said, and you're going to be grinding this way. So you're gonna, when you actually get on something, you're gonna want your body facing. You want your shoulders almost sideways with your body, but you want your head looking in the direction you're going to be going. Okay, now, now that you know how your body needs to be positioned, this is one of those tricks that doesn't really make sense stepping onto on anything because it is a fast part of your skate and if you step on just one foot at a time, you definitely have, you definitely may slip. So the best thing to do, I think, is find something in the ground where you can pretend that there's something that you're gonna be grinding. So even if there's something as small as a line, like this line right here in the wood, I can kind of pretend how I would jump on it. And when I jump on it, I'm gonna, want the, I'm gonna want the line to land in the middle of my frame, and I'm gonna want my boot to be touching when I do that. And you see, kind of combine all those steps. So when you see that line, you're gonna jump, land with your feet down, land with your body in a C, your weight over your skates, and your shoulders parallel to where you're going while your head's facing that way. So I'm gonna show you how it would look again if you were just to do it on something simple like the line. So it'd be the jump and the look. And as you can see, I have my arms out here too, and it's just for balance. A lot of times you'll see acrobats holding their arms out like that, and it's not for, it's not for show, it's definitely to help your balance out. So when you land, you don't necessarily have to have them out like this, but you wanna have them in a position that feels good and feels natural. So when you're doing your Royale, once you take enough speed into it, you're eventually gonna come off the end. So you ultimately have two options of how you're gonna come off. Are you gonna come off landing forward, or are you gonna come off landing fakie? Either way you do this, the main thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is when you're getting off the rail, you wanna have, I always think when you get a slight pop off, a slight little jump, whether it's, it doesn't have to be a hard jump, even if it's something like a hop off. It just makes you feel a little bit more stable. So whether you're hopping forward or hopping fakie, just make sure you just give it a little pop and land fakie, or give it a little pop and just land forward. So now that I've basically went over how you would set your body, or even if you wanted to start practicing on something like a line, we're now gonna move on to the rail and I'm gonna show you how exactly everything's gonna work in this case. So when you're approaching the rail to do the grind, the best thing to do a lot of times if you don't know the speed, you kind of want to go at it at a, at a low speed and just kind of test out how it slides, see how it feels. There's no need in trying to do it first try. You might as well get comfortable with the obstacle and make sure it feels right. So right now I'm going to do that. I'm going to go at a normal speed. I'm not going to try and do the whole thing. I'm just going to get on to where it feels comfortable. So here we go. So 
So as you can see that time, I put all the steps together like I told you. I went at a minimal speed and obviously I didn't get across the whole rail, but that was kind of the goal of the exercise, just so you can feel comfortable, make sure you know the speed of what you're gonna be grinding on and putting all the techniques into play. So next, I'm gonna show you how you would actually go about doing it after you know the way it slides and the way the obstacle's set up. So basically for this one, I know I need a little bit more speed. I know how the obstacle slides now and I know how the bank ramps are. So the only thing that I need to do is put all the steps into play. So I need to get on, put my boot down, make sure the rail is situated in the middle of my frames, have my shoulders parallel with my body and have my head looking forward facing the direction I'm going. So here we go with all the steps combined. And as you can see with that one, I took a lot more speed into it. I knew how I was going to slide. I situated the rail in between my frames, got my boot down, got the, my body weight over my skates and had my shoulders parallel and my head facing the direction I was going. Landed the trick. So next time you're trying to Royale, try and work through the steps I just taught you and I'm sure you'll have a lot greater success with the trick and you'll be landing them in no time. Take care, Brian Aragon, how to do a Royale.